What's up, gang? Case here with our at-home Metcon for Saturday, December 12th. Quite a bit different from our in-gym Metcon today. They're using rowers and wall balls, um, so I wanted to give you all a similar stimulus. They're doing an old open workout. We're going to be doing a the first workout that was ever posted to CrossFit.com. It's called Fast and Heavy. It's 21 thrusters followed by a 400-meter run, 15 thrusters, 400 meter run, nine thrusters, 400 meter run. Those were actually done with dumbbells uh, for that very first one. Um, I believe the first prescribed weight on this, or actually wasn't a prescribed weight listed, but traditionally it's done with 50 pounds per hand for men, 35 pounds per hand for women. Uh, I want you to choose a weight today that's going to allow you to get your first two rounds done in three sets or less. So that set of 21, you could do three sets of seven to get there. If you're having to break it up more than that, you've gone too heavy. If you don't have two dumbbells, you're welcome to do that thruster with one dumbbell. I'll demo those here uh, right now. So on those thrusters, good power clean or squat clean from the ground. So we either jump up to the shoulder, find our shoulder width stance, keep the back head of the bell sitting on the shoulder throughout, chest stays tall, knees go wide, and if you have the ability, get that hip crease below your knee. As you come out of the bottom, heel stays on the ground, drive through your heel, extend your hips, and then punch out with those arms. So putting it together, hips then arms, hips then arms, fast to the top, a little bit slower on the way down. Also, don't forget about breathing. I like to breathe in on the way down. Also, it's a good reminder for me to slow down that negative a bit more. If you're only using one dumbbell today, go as heavy as you can while still sticking to the rep uh, scheme that we talked about, but you'll bring that dumbbell up one hand, head in both hands, and then the rest of the movement will still be the same. Hips and arms, try to get as stacked out as you can at the top. After those thrusters, you've got that 400 meter run. On your run today, you need to push the intensity. So give yourself those mini goals within each run, those micro goals within each run. So for me, I always know once I hit my turnaround point, I need to push that intensity a little more on the way back. So my goal is to get into a good pace on my way out, hit that turnaround point, and then pick it up a little bit more on the way back. Let's not forget about running efficiency. So when we're running, we wanna let our shoulders relax. We want that foot to strike underneath. We don't wanna to get too big with our arm motion, elbows and hands stay pretty close to our side, and we wanna use that forward lean. So you'll notice if you're getting hips too far forward, you'll strike out in front. We want the chest to be slightly forward of the hips, and that way when you strike, you strike beneath your center of gravity, and you pull your foot off the ground quickly versus driving and then having to push really hard. You're slowing yourself down when you're striking that foot way out in front, and then you're having to do even more work to get through and then push into your next step. So think about leaning forward, striking beneath the hips, and then using the hamstring to pull right back up. Let gravity pull you through. Last thing on that, your cadence is gonna to need to be a little bit quicker. So these are gonna be fast, kind of light steps, but I still want you to push the intensity, push the pace on that run today. Runs number one and two, um, get to a level that's slightly uncomfortable, and then once you hit that third run, that's your last piece of work. Whatever you've got left in the tank, full out sprint all the way to the end. We want this to be an intense workout today. That said, keep good technique. Listen to your body. Don't beat yourself up more than what you can recover from. 21 thrusters, 400 meter run, 15 thrusters, 400 meter run. Make sure that you can get those sets of thrusters done in three sets or less. And then you've got nine thrusters. Once you get to that set of nine, go unbroken if you can. Last 400 meter run, whatever you've got left in the tank. Good luck on today's workout. Uh, this is a, uh, a classic benchmark workout and uh, we'll see you back on Monday.